So I grew up in Idaho and Hawaii, but because I went to high school and college in Idaho, I guess that would make me an Idahoan. You may know Idaho because apparently our potatoes are famous. I think the only reason they are is because it actually says that on our license plates. Yeah, we boast about it. Say what you will about Idaho, but no one brags about carbs grown in the ground quite like we do. To be honest, there's not much else it could be known for. The National Cow Tipping Center, we have more chickens than Oregon has people, more drunk people per capita every night than your state, try fitting those on license plates. The sad thing is the nightlife. The only options are getting drunk, getting knocked up, or hanging out at Walmart until curfew. Only the lame people limit themselves to just one each night, though. If you want to be cool, it's all three, and there are definitely several pickup trucks involved. I wasn't cool in high school. I was a kid who somehow managed to be in all the clubs, yet no one knew who I was. It was, you know, that girl with the Don King hair, Melissa or something? So I didn't partake in the shenanigans. I mostly stayed home during the evenings and planned my future wedding to Conan O'Brien. One thing my friends and I did manage to do was go to the movie theater. I mean, there wasn't much else if you weren't interested in the alcohol, Walmart, or mini U trifecta. It was either the movie theater, going to bingo with your grandmother, or creating permanent family rifts with Monopoly game nights. We had enough permanent rifts in our family from games of who was playing basketball in the driveway and put a dent in my car. We didn't need any more. As a result, we'd file into the back row of the movie theater and make comments like, is the lead actor upset or does he need laxatives? And listen to 80-year-old couples explain things to each other. You see, honey, that man just shot that man. What? They were men? This movie is too hard to follow. Then, of course, there were the true critics, babies brought to R-rated movies. They cried they were so bad. Or maybe it's because their parents were stupid and thought it was a good idea to bring babies to Kingdom of Heaven. It really could go either way. And that sums up high school in Idaho.